In this video, we're going to learn how you can use the create element in JavaScript. And the create element is basically a way to create in JavaScript a tag. So you have a tag and eventually you want to insert the tag somewhere specific in the HTML file, which is used with the append command. So let's start and explore how we can do this. So what we want to do here is basically we want to create an element and the moment we press this button, we want to append the element somewhere on. So an appending basically means to attach it. So let's say you want to attach it to the body. It, when you click on it, somewhere here in the body, it should show a new button or something, whatever we want to create. So let's start and explore how to do this. So the first thing what we want to do here is we're going to create here basically an item. And this item will be a button. So we can say here constant, and we give this name new button. And in this constant, we're going to create a new button. We say here create element with capital letter E. Then we indicate the tag name. So what element are we going to create? Are we going to create a, a paragraph, a, a div, a button, anything you want? All right. So once we have this, we have now assign this part here of course this doesn't do anything because we only give it a value here so once you created this or this is basically it creates it there's no text in here indicated which is fine for now we're not going to focus on that what we want to focus on is the next part here which is attaching it so how do we attach it for that we use append child that's the word we're going to use and append means to attach and why is it a child? Well, basically, we have to indicate where do we want to put in the item. If we want to put it in, um, if this is a child, so we need to select the parent. For example, if we're going to only focus on the body, then in this case, the body tag is the parent. So let's start and do that. Document. Uh, document dot so as now we select we say go in this document and what do where do we want to append it we can say here body and then we say append child and then so this means that the parent is right now the bottom the the body tag is the parent and we will attach it into the body so we say here the append child is What's the name? It's a new button. So the moment we do this here and add, and what we want to do here is we want to create a function. So we say here function add button. And in here we will put in our function name. Alright, so this is a function. We we put it between here. This is our function now. Now, of course, we're not done yet because right now, if we refresh, we'll see nothing happens. Even if we click here, and the reason why is we didn't attach this part here. We will have to make sure that we connect this as well. So we say here, we give this an ID. And this ID will be called add new button. And here we can give it a new constant. And this constant will be add new button equals, no, equals. Basically, this one here it says document dot get element by ID. As you can see here, here we say get element by ID, and here we have create element. So that's an interesting one because these two are exactly different. Here we we want to get the specific element. Here we are just creating an element, and this part here is equal to this here as well. Now, what we are going to do here? Add the body. So what did we do here? Well, first of all, we created this ID to make sure that JavaScript can now see that this this ID in HTML it can reach it in JavaScript as well. And the moment we click on it, we give it a add event listener because we want to make trigger it on a specific way, and that and that way would be by clicking on the button. So we say you add event listener or in JavaScript, they will say this is calling the action. So what are we calling? We're going to call the following. How will we call it? The moment we press click. 
And then what are we going to call that? We are going to call or trigger the function, which is this one here at bottom at button. So once we have this semicolon here, now we should have exactly. So the moment, so basically what we're saying here is select this ID name, and the moment we click on this ID, activate this function. And this function is this here that we have. And what does this function do? It creates a new constant, new button, which equals to create a new element, which is a button tag. And this button tag will be added into the document and the parent of this button is the body tag which is this one here and then in here in the body tag we will attach append stands for attach the child new button which is basically a button here so we will attach a button into the body tag so let's save this and see if this works now let's refresh and as we click here oh we can see we get an uh, error here let's click on this we see here create button all right let's double check here most likely we need to put in here a document dot create element all right that's most likely what we have to do refresh again and now as you can see we maybe we're noticing here we have this button and if i click now it starts to add so why does it add here below well basically it is automatically in the body tag and maybe you say well wait this is nice, but I don't like the bot. I don't want the button in the body tag because it doesn't make sense. That is correct. What if you want to put it in here, in the card body? Well, we can do here an ID, and this ID will be uh, card body ID, and then we can adjust that. All we have to do now is basically create a new constant where we say uh, card body as the ID equals document so document dot uh, get element by id which is in this case card body so once we do this we have this one and we can start to remove this part here we can even remove this one here because this is not necessary because we already have a document here or if you want we can even do it like this then you could remove this one here. So basically this is exactly the same because here we're going to specify specifically which ID or tag we want to pinpoint. And we do that by pinpointing it by the ID name, which is the easiest way to do. So let's save this, refresh. And now if you add up, you can see now it starts to add up here below. There you are. And if we don't want this, but maybe we want to do it with a constant here, which is a bit cleaner because so you, remove the redundancy of the text to make it shorter save this refresh here exactly the same happens here all right so now we have this this is basically how you can use the create element where you create a specific element and we can create even a paragraph let's say you're going to say a paragraph we call this paragraph new p or new paragraph let's save this well, normally this should be all adjusted as well, but it doesn't matter so much. And now if you add up, you can see here something is happening, but you cannot see clearly what. And the reason why is the paragraph is being added, but there's nothing in here. So it doesn't consume any space, as you can see. And if you keep on clicking here, you can see we're getting new paragraphs consistently. And this is basically the way how we can use the create element. And there's of course more we can start on adding more items in here that will be for another video where we're going to add up the notes or the text notes which are in part of it as well so if you like videos like this subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions regarding to this put them in the comment section below and if you are interested in learning about chart.js check out my udemy course in the description link